What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here. Back at it again, like you can always expect. You know what I mean? And today, doing an unpackaging of this thing right here. Let's get right into it. All right. Let's see where we're going to cut in. We're going to cut in right here. Hopefully, my knife is still sharp. And it is kind of. All right. Now we in. We in. All right. I'm going to take everything out off the camera because i don't know what the hell they put in it all right there's the box let's see what else i got that invoice or package uh, packing slip all right put that to the side oh, yeah urban edc so guys want to take any guesses what this is you can leave it in the comments right now pause the video and leave it all right guys right here there we go yeah you saw that a little bit <laughs> so now you can stay for the video if you like i'm gonna try to make this thing quick real quick <laughs> a lot of my videos aren't real quick so We'll see about that. All right. Another one. Just put them in the box. I'm not sure I'm, if I'm going to keep the box or not. That's really going to depend if I feel like I'm going to get rid of this knife or not. First impressions video right here. All right. Oh, there's that packet you guys like to eat. I'm going to throw that away so you guys cannot eat it. It's been a while since I saw one of those packets. Bam! Yeah! Yeah, all right. There's the pack, um, pouch. This is brand new, all right. I didn't bullshit you guys. This is brand new. I'm gonna cut right into it, okay, guys. I didn't bullshit you guys. I didn't peek at this. This is the first impressions for real. No BS, all right, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm, yeah, you can start to see which version I got. Oh, shit, let's see. Can I touch the blade? I can. Like, uh, I can poke it here. That, that's the only part I can touch the blade. 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 So, if you guys are concerned with the blade being uh, out to the edge, this opening is pretty wide. So, yes, you can touch the blade. But let's get right into it. Ooh, first flick is money. And as you guys can see, I got the hand rubbed version. F5.5 hand rubbed. All right. Look at that. You can feel the lines a little bit if you use your nail. Barely. It, you know, it's very smooth, very fine. Uh, the lines are pretty straight this side oh let's see this side is straighter than the show well this both sides are show side but this side's a little more this way this one's more dead on but it doesn't matter all right so m390 i know some of y'all want l max oh you guys saw that, right? And I do have skiffs um, sitting that fit in here because I bought it for the Ace Riv, but it didn't make too much of a difference in the Ace Riv. So first impressions, this knife, uh, knife feels good in the hand, all right? The lockup is kind of early, not really. It's like a little bit off the blade right there not uh, it's very close you know what i mean it's, it's maybe a little early it is able to be choked up on not that i think i would choke up on this at all you know i don't think so i think i'm fine back here feels okay choking up maybe i mean yeah man the blade's not super thin at all all right look at that flat grind through the whole thing 
it is not thin this so this is a candidate for a regrind if you want but i'm not gonna do that i'm not a fan of those things too much let's see Ooh. action how does the detent feel detent feels it's not too heavy the fact that I can roll it out with my thumb shows it's not too heavy, all right? This knife is pretty heavy, though. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a scale, boys. We got a scale. All right. Let's go right into it. 4.456. All right, guys. So we got 4.45. All right. That's not bad. I mean, this is, it feels like a hefty knife, you know. Let's take a look on the inside. Yeah, there's really no milling at all. There's no milling. That's why it's so freaking heavy. And, uh, you know, the liners are in in the scale. So, you know, there's no milling over there. You got a nice titanium backspacer here. A clip feels good this feels um feels good you know i, I want to say you know of course it's like a giant mouse because vox Nays made this right designed it does the action sound good it sounds different than other knives a little bit sounds good not it's not the best sounding, but it's good. All right. I mean, so overall, guys, you know, the fit and finish feels good. Okay. It feels good. Now, if you look at the pivot and you want to be picky, you could be like, oh, there's not an even gap around this pivot. It's like touching over here, but it's not touching over here to the scale. And this side is exactly the same, almost less obvious. This side's still closer, which would match this side, obviously. So, I mean, <sighs> shit, okay, it's just a keeper for me. It's hard to tell. Maybe if I throw in the skiffs, I'm going to be like, oh, the action turns really drop shutty. I don't know if it will. Probably not, I'm guessing. But overall, it's a nice looking knife, right? It, it looks nice in the pictures. It looks nice in person. It's a chunky, tanky knife. So to me, this knife is more like a replacement or alternative to something like the Spyderco Techno 2 but you want a little more blade length and um, don't want a frame lock, right? Overall though, it feels solid in hand. Make sure you get um, this on the secondary or you wait for a sale before you buy this, all right? I would not pay 270 for this. Get it on sale because you can. That's my advice when it comes to buying this knife. All right, I want to keep this one short. So uh, size comparisons here, right there. That's going to be your only size comparison for this video. There you go. It's pretty much identical in length to a Sebenza 21 small. All right, it's just a lot thinner, as you guys can see. Yeah, this, this knife just feels so slim streamline and everything compared to this uh f5.5 f5.5 feels like a big boy chunky knife that's what it feels like a tank knife you know what i mean but if that's what you like that's good so let's keep this under 10 guys if you like what you saw subscribe please give me a thumbs up thumbs down whatever you want if you want to hear more from me instagram tim z usa and until next time tim z out